the next topic is deccan policy alauddin did not annex the deccan after conquering it he was far sighted and realized that it would not be easy to control these provinces from delhi so uh, he did not conquer the whole south india uh, under his ter- territory but he uh, but he thought that it was very difficult for him to rule the south india from delhi moreover his main objective was to acquire as much wealth as possible from the south to pay for the maintenance of his huge army and for the administration of his territory so his main objective was to acquire as much as wealth or money from the south and pay that money to his obedient huge army and for and to run his administration the rulers of the deccan were forced to acknowledge the supremacy of the sultan and pay a heavy annual tribute as a mark of submission to his suzerainty so whoever was or whatever the areas which he was uh, captured in the south they were forced to give the huge number of taxes to the alauddin khilji so by using that taxes and the wealth he captured from the south he run his administration and also gave salary to his huge army next is mongol invasion the mongols attacked india five times during the early years of alauddin reign remember these how many time mongol invaded india during the alauddin reign five times but these attack were successfully repulsed but uh, alauddin khilji did not allow the mongol to enter india alauddin took several steps to build a strong defense system to protect his empire from the mongol raids so alauddin also make uh, different types of arrangements so that he can make his uh, defense system more strong so that they can protect his empire from the mongol raids the forts along with the routes of mongol attack were repaired and the frontiers provinces were placed under the best general so even the different types of forts which was the route of the mongol attack was repaired which was damaged earlier and the frontier provinces provinces were placed with the best general or officers the army was recognized reorganized and strengthened even his army was again changed and it was made more stronger than before mongol leaders were captured and trampled to death by elephants so many of the mongols leaders were captured by the alauddin khilji's army and they were death by uh, or they were pressed by the elephants leg and finally they were death the mongols who had embraced islam and had settled in delhi during jalaluddin's reign were, were mercilessly massacred so even the mongols who had embraced in uh, embraced in islam that means they have accept the islam religion and had settled in delhi during the jalaluddin's reign they were killed by the alauddin khilji's army